Okay, so the crab stuffed portobello cap, okay, I've, I've used this little dish for years as canopies, just using a regular medium to white size mushroom. It's perfect. So if you're ever having anyone over for dinner, I'm using a little portobello here because I'm serving it more lunch style, pre-dinner appetizer. The uh, cherry pepper mayonnaise really, really kicks it off and I'm gonna be using some, uh, some pea shoots that I grow here at the house. But uh, again, make it for a dinner or a lunch, or as I say, put them into the smaller mushrooms and uh, perfect for a little canopy pre-dinner. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do here is pan's already hot, in with some rapeseed oil. And we're gonna just give a light little seasoning to each mushroom, okay? So, tiny little bit of white pepper. And just leave them there to cook like that, okay? So then, we're just gonna take a decent knob of butter, Turn the heat up on that and get it get it to melt, okay? Set that aside. Okay, now, I need about a half of a small to medium white mushroom. Very, very finely diced. Get that added to the to the butter, and that should do. The same then with about about a half of a half of a regular red bell pepper. Okay, very very finely diced again. Okay, and with a red pepper. And then I'm going to take one of these cherry peppers, okay? These are lovely little pepper juice peppers. You get them in jars and, you know, done Super Value Tesco. Most of, the, most of the supermarkets have them, okay? They're sweet, but there's a tiny, tiny little bit of heat in there, okay? And that's exactly what, what I'm looking for, okay? Just that little aftertaste of, of heat. And then just for a little extra, I'm just going to just use the cap. When it comes to these red chili flakes, a little goes a long way. So about just the front of a teaspoonful, you know, 12, 13 little flakes, okay? And then a little bit of cayenne pepper. If you have Old Bay, if, you've, if you go to the States or you've been around the States, I used to have some that's run out. You can't get it here. There's a little spice called Old Bay. It's absolutely beautiful for, for this dish. So if you're ever over there, try and, try and pick some, some up, okay? Very, very similar to, uh, to paprika and uh, works really, really well, you know? So turn our mushrooms. Just starting to get a lovely little bit of color on those already. That's exactly what I'm looking for, okay? And then back to our uh, back to our stuffing base, okay? So in with that, we're just gonna sweat these without too much color, okay? So the onion, cherry pepper, and the red peppers working away just nicely there, okay? So that'll take us just to the crab meat then. Now the crab is already cooked. I'm just gonna get a wee dish. And it's already cooked. You can buy the crab meat cooked. We, we, boiled these and then picked out the meat. It's a bit of a, it's a, bit of an arduous process. So, you know, if, if you get a nice high quality Irish crab meat, I recommend to get that. But the one thing you want to do is just, when you take it out of the packet, drain it, and then just gently let it work its way through your fingers so that everything that's fallen onto the plate has come by your finger. What you're looking for is tiny little bits of shell. Now, whenever you get nice little lumps like that there, you don't want to break them up too much. So just let your fingers just rub gently over the outside of them, okay? So we're gonna use about, generally about, 100, about 200 grams of fresh crab meat, okay? Because I want the majority of the filling to be crab, okay? Now, the mushrooms are working away just nice there. What I'm gonna do is just gonna add a tiny little bit of water. Just 
simply because I just want them to steam a little bit, okay, and just to soften, but I want that all that water to evaporate. So by the time the water is gone, the mushroom is going to be cooked all the way through, okay? Turn over. I'm just going to turn this down now to a gentle little simmer, okay? So the heat's turned down. And the next thing that's going in here then to our, our mixture is the crab meat, all right? The, the only thing really that's going in here that's, that's raw is the onions and the chilies and pepper, okay? The crab meat is already cooked, as you know. So that goes in. Next thing then is just the bread to bind it, okay? So you don't need tons of bread because, as I say, I want the majority of this to be, to be about the crab and the crab filling, okay? So give it a good mix. And again, you want to keep it a little bit wet. You don't want it to over, overly dry. That's perfect. Turn the heat down nice and low. And then we're just going to take a little bit of fresh parsley. Chop this up nice and small. Straight in there. Okay, so mushrooms in, pretty much ready. Take them off. Nice and soft, they're cooked all the way through. So you just want to get all that excess moisture now off them, okay? Set them aside, just like so. Knock that off. And now, just for a little bit of, a little bit of the mayonnaise, okay? So in with some cherry peppers, about four or five cherry peppers. A little bit of mayonnaise. Okay. And then... Just drop that in a the Thermomix or food processor, whatever you have at home. Just give it a few seconds. That's perfect. Take this aside. Just going to use a little, little serving bowl, okay? Let's go back to our mushrooms. Each one, just set them on. And back to our stuffing. So again, just like I said with the stuffing, it's just nice and moist, okay? You don't want it to get too dry, so just ease up on the, on the breadcrumbs, okay? Set them on like so. And don't worry about them dropping off just a little bit, okay? You want it to be, it's a nice, lovely, rustic little dish, okay? On like that. Give it a wee mix. Just go to our cherry pepper mayonnaise. We're going to serve this just lovely family style dish. Okay. Set that aside. And then just some lovely little pea shoots that I just have grown in trays in the house. Drop them on. Perfect for this. Couldn't be, couldn't be more simple. Beautiful little crab stuffed portobello mushrooms. There you have it. Beautiful.